Johnson Johnson out this morning with preliminary data on the effectiveness of a potential booster shot from that company for its coronavirus vaccine. For more on that and the other latest on COVID, we're joined by Anjali Kimlani, our healthcare reporter. So Anjali, uh, Johnson Johnson joining some of the other drug makers and saying a booster could be effective. That's right, Julie. So what we got out of Johnson & Johnson today was information from an early stage trial supporting the idea of a booster shot. And what they found in their results, uh, based on what they're telling us so far, they do have yet to publish this uh, data, is that they found a nine-fold increase in protection compared to 20 days after the first dose. So that really sets the stage for them to uh, come up to a second dose requirement. They're working with the FDA on this, of course, and more data will be needed. Uh, but meantime, that really bring, brings up the question about sort of what uh, that signifies in terms of the need for boosters, uh, largely speaking, with vaccinations. Meanwhile, Moderna uh, also just let us know that they have completed their filing for their uh, full authorization for a vaccine. So we could have two fully authorized mRNA vaccines in this country very soon. And of course, we know Moderna is uh, usually not far behind Pfizer. So we'll see if the FDA pulls off uh, something like that pretty soon. And then another uh, really interesting tidbit is that the uh, Pentagon is ready to announce, based on Reuters reporting, uh, that uh, that all military is going to be required to get a vaccine. There's a media briefing set for 1030. So we'll get more details on that pretty soon. That's it for now. And, and actually, you know, you and I were, were messaging a little bit about this this morning, about the idea of a booster versus a second shot in the case of J&J &J or third shot in the case of Pfizer and Moderna. Like what what distinguishes a booster from just a multiple shot regimen, for example? Well, the definition, according to the CDC, is going to be that a booster shot is basically for someone who is already vaccinated and has the protection deemed necessary. So the booster is an additional uh, course. So the debate that's happening really right now uh, within the health expert space is whether or not these additional doses are, in fact, just additional doses as part of the primary course. So is the COVID vaccine a three-dose vaccine or a two-dose vaccine in the case of Johnson & Johnson? Or are we looking at true boosters where the initial protection is going to be the strongest it is, and then these follow-ups are, in fact, boosters? And that's something that really is a hot debate right now, as well as what that means in terms of necessity. Also, just a minor point to point out on this whole debate of Johnson & Johnson boosters, considering uh, the trouble that we saw, especially with those uh, safety concerns early on, there are some doctors, uh, at least one told me specifically, uh, that they would prefer to get an mRNA as a booster. So that rather than follow any guidance that might be coming, uh, they'd rather wait for sort of a mix and match option uh, as we see over in Europe. So again, really hotly debated topic right now. Huh, that is very interesting that they would do that instead of getting the, the other J&J &J dose. I'm sure that we will continue to delve uh, into these issues with you, Anjali. Thank you so much.